big week, Mark. 13 runners I've counted over the next few days. Uh, starting two meetings tomorrow night, you've got a couple up at Auckland. We'll start with them. Uh, La Rosa and Bravey Kelly have headed up there, and La Rosa in the Caduceus Club in a good race tomorrow night. Yeah, we decided to head up there. It's hundred thousand dollar race, so um, it's no use sitting at home with her. And you know, she showed her last one was was pretty good, and she's on the way up. So um, yeah, no money sitting at the box in the box at home, and um, she comes up with a good draw to work with. So hopefully, we have no bad luck. Should we be going forward? I'd imagine from there in a hundred grand race. Yeah, I think only the Tiger Water team goes back at the start, they reckon. But um, yeah, we'll just leave it to Sam. She's got options. She's got gate speed. She can, you know, she's pretty adaptable and small fields are hard. And it's it also is pretty hard when Purden's got three in the race and um, just what they'll do. So um, it's in the lap of the gods and we'll just hope we have no bad luck and have our chance. Yeah, exactly. Brave View Kelly goes around in a grade race, race eight, uh, up there tomorrow night. And uh, looking at that field, I thought she'd be very competitive. If she handles Auckland way, and what do you make of her that way around? Uh, you don't like to say too much, but um, I think she's probably every bit as good, if not better, the Auckland way around. Um, she had a bit of trouble getting around the Addington way, and you know, work up there has been good. And it's hard to stack the form up with the South Island form. Yeah, you know, she's racing three old fillies and racing some older horses with good form, but she's a pretty good filly. And you know, from small field, kind of helps as she sits off them. She's very fast, and she's got to do some work she can do. So she's got to be very hard to beat. They're both up there with Jeremy Young. So is uh, is old Zinni pretty happy with him? Is he? Yeah, we're in a lucky position. We give him the Zinni and he does a great job with them. So, um, so he's me being up there. He, he looks after them like one of their own. And, you know, he, he was very, very happy with their work on Wednesday. So that's all you can ask. And he's a good judge. He's got some nice horses and knows what they've got to do. So, yeah, if he's happy, we're happy. Addington tomorrow night as well. And uh, you'll jump in the cart once or twice because Sam's gone north to drive La Rosa. And uh, two in the first, Art Attack and Rocket Boy. And I thought their trials both got uh, definite pass marks. Where are they at in their preparation? Uh, they're still on the way up, you know, they, they'll be targeting the Southland meetings coming up and, and saying that they are two pretty nice maidens, they both trolled up good and you wouldn't take much notice of their form. Um, Art Attack's probably the touch of the better of the two, but he's got a few tricks and he's just got to do things right, he's got a few, you know, a few chinks in his armour yet, he's got a bit to sort out, but on ability he's quite a nice maiden and if he got half a run and put his best foot forward, he's got to be a pretty good chance in that. Okay, Rocket Boy, um, he's looked okay last season too, so I'm um, expecting an improvers run from him then. Yeah, he's got a good turn of speed and he's both trials have been quiet, but he's found the line pretty strong both times and he's pretty genuine wee fella. So um, if they do go hard and he sits off and he's good enough to make him a fair bit of ground. So um, I see what's a good even made him field, I think, you know, they're as good a chance as most of that. Orlando Magic went good, I thought, last start. Looked like an improver's run, and uh, she's got to be a good chance uh, in her race tomorrow night. Yeah, we're a lot happier with her. She had a few type issues and seems to be getting over them. Um, was a good run last week, and she seems okay. She kind of does have a few niggling issues, but from the draw, she's going to stay handy, and, yeah, she needs way chance. But, you know, Amber Jenkins' one there goes quite good, and, yeah, it's a, it's a nice even field, but she's a definite top three player. Okay, uh, and then you'll have Sue Princess as well, and uh, we all know her capabilities, and looked an uh, okay race for her. Uh, her, her race tomorrow night? Yeah, just got to step her, so we blame the driver, that don't happen, and she's got to be in the right mood, which we know, so um, if she steps and found the front and run along, you know, she, she's an each-way chance. It's, you know, Andy Fawkes is one, Ken Barron's in there, they all go quite good. It's a good even feel, but... If she did happen to find the markers and run along, she takes a bit of catching. So um, she is pretty well, and you know she's not without a, a rough chance in that. Okay, late in the night, Plutonium Lady and uh, Yule Driver um, actually had a little bit on her before. She was fourteen dollars, which I thought was a little bit over what she should have been in that particular race. How do you how do you look at her chances tomorrow night? Yeah, she's probably over over a value of that. Like she is quite a nice you know mare when she's riding. I'm probably not 100% happy with her, but I was a lot happier with her work two days ago. And, you know, she's got a bit of gate speed and she can make her own luck a wee bit. So, you know, Spellbound's in there, it's racing good. And, you know, Lulu and Mons with the right runs are danger and that. But on ability, I think she's probably good enough to be a, a pretty good winning chance in that. And provided she races up to what she can, I think she's, you know, she's pretty good value at anything around that price anyway. Yeah, even place price there, I thought they, they got that wrong for sure. Um, so uh, good betting into her tomorrow night. Uh, Saturday, you go back to Addington and uh, have another crack, and you've got four runners uh, led in the second by Kofi Sundown, uh, expecting a better performance from him. 
yeah, he's fresh up and he just blew out last time and gets in the right race to six stand kind of suits him and he actually seems quite good at the moment. So um yeah, I, I wouldn't think he'd be without a chance in that field. It's it's his type of type of grade and as I said he's he wasn't far away last time, he's improved from that. So, you know, he's probably a bit of value. Mahia, um he's had his chances lately. He was all right again the other day. I guess you're hoping top three again with him. Yeah, probably struggled to be in top three with that. He's He's a low-grade maiden, so he's racing the better maidens here. And, um, you know, he's probably looking to get down south over Christmas, so he's, you know, take on trust. Lady Lines went really good at Tomorrow. She trotted 322 in front and got beaten in a maiden, which would not happen very often at all. Uh, you would expect it to nearly win second up off the back of that. Yeah, providing she backs up, I wasn't planning on doing it, but just a small field, you know, there's no money sitting in the box, as I keep saying. So, um, you know, she seems to come through it good and... Um, you know, the mobile's probably not ideal for her because she can get a wee bit racy, but in 1980, she seems to want to trot and that's all she wants to do. So, you know, Ken Barron's one's going to be awfully hard to beat, but in saying that, she'll probably take a fair bit of catch in my filly too. And, you know, it was a good run last week and, yeah, yeah, yeah she's got to be a good chance. And dropping out of the filly's race and back into a, a winnable race is it's to the max. And, and, and looking at her field, I thought she gets her chance and an each-way chance on Saturday. Yeah, she's got each-way chance. You know, she's... She's near enough filling in, but just drawing wide makes it hard. And she's a funny one to kind of get 100%. She can be, you know, good one day and not the next. So um, on ability, she's as good as anything in that race. So she just needs the right run from the draw. And, you know, you could get a bit of value back here. She is, you know, near enough filly. Sunday, you'll uh, hop the float on and put two horses on and head to meth in a, but they're worth taking. Stylish Memphis and Majestic Lavros for the two green miles. What can you tell us about the two top liners in the team? Yeah, they both seem good. Like they're both carrying plenty of weight, especially Stylish Memphis. She's probably carrying far too much. But um, yeah, she's drawn wide. She'll have to roll forward from there and put herself in the race. And you think last brigade will be well well forward from what our filly would be at this stage and probably should be too good for us over the mile at this stage. But yeah, we, we've got plans going forward and we're happy with the work. She looks great and you know, she's got to be a top three player at least. The Majestic Lavros is in a similar boat. They both went out straight after cup cup time, uh, after show day, and uh, had a break, and they both come back. So is he any more forward than she is? Uh, not really. He'll improve with it. He's probably a touch more forward than she is. He's trimmed up a bit since he's been home, and he's probably a victim of a, a funny preferential barrier draw. He draws the back row and, you know, press the bell, and um, heavyweight hero draw the outside. So, yeah, again, going the first bend, we're probably going to be giving them 10, 15 lengths, and it's going to be impossible to probably beat them over a mile, and especially with heavyweight heroes, you know, form on the grass. So the preferential works against us. You know, it's when you draw nine on the best horse, it's pretty easy. You, you go forward. So um, he's going to improve unknown on the grass. But as I said, from the draw, I can't see him beating heavy, heavyweight hero. No, I thought heavyweight hero looked, a, looked a special, actually. He loves the grass tracks. And and as you say, that draw is just going to play into his hands. So, uh, But as long as uh, both horses are running on strongly, I guess you'll be really pleased and, You've got a couple of targets coming up for the Manoma Cow, I guess being the main one at this at, at you know this point in time. Yeah, as you know, like I, I kind of look after me horse and they're screwed down all the time, and you know they're fit enough as they can be at this stage to be very competitive. But I think you know Dunn's one and and Bob Butts one will definitely have the fitness edge on us, and the draws kind of help them as well. So yeah, they'll go forward from this and. They'll still race pretty good, and the grass will be a good blowout for them. But you know, I, I probably can't see either of the two winning. But I think they'll both should run in the top three. Okay, excellent. Uh, what's the best of them? Can you think of what you what you would uh, put on top of the whole team, the thirteen runners this week? Yeah, racing thirteen is more than I, I thought I was in work at the moment. So we were a pretty quiet weekend at home. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, oh, it's hard to know. They're all chance. Probably Lady Loins if she does things right and. Yeah, I probably like Art Attack for a bit of value and Plutonium Lady for a place. So it could be one of those weeks we could have a real good week or a, or a real ship one. But um, yeah, see, they all seem okay, so I'm sure they'll race good. I'm tipping Plutonium Lady each way. I think she she jumps into a good race for her, and if she can show her best form, I think she'll be very competitive. So just drive her good. That'll be the main thing. Yeah, I can only blame the driver this week. As I said, yeah. I normally, normally uh, sound the excuse. But as I said, it's, yeah, we'll just... Um, do our best having been out there for a while, so it's good to get back out there in this good weather. Yeah, well, you'll be busy over Christmas, so I guess you'll be driving a fair few of the team down south, won't you? Yeah, well, I seem to you know, do a fair bit of driving down there. It's good to get down there with the Southland boys and you know the locals down there. It's, yeah, it's a bit more laid back, and 
you know, that Winton's a good track to race on. So, um, yeah, we have a bit of fun down there and have a good time. We've got a few to go there, but probably still a few, we'll race a few around Christchurch. So, um, just depending on what the owners want to do, but it, they're probably all maiden, so it's kind of hard to place them all. But, um, yeah, we'll find a place for them and give it a good shot. Excellent. Well, good work. Well, good luck with the big team this week. Let's hope some success comes. Yeah, it'd be great just to get one or two across the line to be handy, but as long as they race good, we'll all be happy. Excellent. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for that. Cheers.